In partnership with JAG One Physical Therapy, New Jersey Youth Soccer is proud to recognize players who have made a significant comeback through the Comeback Player Series. Therefore, it is my honor to welcome Lindsay Smith as she tells her comeback story. Hi, Lindsay, how are you? Good, how are you? Great. So before we hop into it, tell me a little bit about yourself, where you're from, what club you play for, what position you play. Um, I'm from Bayville, New Jersey. I'm a freshman at Central Regional High School. Um, I play for Tom's River Independent Club, and I'm part of the Olympic Development Program. Um, generally a center back or center mid, really anywhere in the center of the field, but kind of just play wherever my coaches put me. So. Nice. I love it. Yeah. So, <laughs> teammates uh, won the MOSA Cup final, and mm -hmm. you were chosen for ODP. Um, what's next? What's, what happens in the fall season? Um, what's the rest of the year look like for you? Um, I was kind of going to the fall season with like the mindset of trying to get better and just always trying to improve. And I was nearing the end of my season and, um, I was in a fall game and I got fouled and I ended up breaking my collarbone. So it was kind of disappointing and it was my second to last game of the season. So it was like the very end, but it was one of the most painful things I've ever been through, but it was very devastating, at least for my soccer kind of like team, I guess. Well, I can relate. I broke my collarbone in high school. So I had a, did you have to wear one of those figure eight things? Yeah, I had to wear a sling like across my body like that for like two months. So. Yeah, not, not, not fun. I know, I know the feeling. I remember being in the car and every bump, we hit, it was just, extreme. Yeah. so, um, did you have, did it require surgery? No um, surgery. well, it was kind of like my option and it was going to be one week shorter of recovery, but I was going to have like this huge scar. And then six months later, I was going to have to have the plate removed that they were going to put in. So it kind of didn't make sense for me because it was in the very end of the fall season. So I was going into winter and I didn't want to have that second surgery and be out for more time when the spring season did come around. So me personally, I didn't have surgery, but yeah. Yeah. Anytime you can avoid going under, um, under the knife is probably the best. Yeah. option. So, <laughs> so what was the recovery time? I mean, I, I obviously can relate uh, to broken bones and things like that, but mm -hmm. how long did it take you? Uh, what was the recovery time breaking, breaking your collarbone? And then how long did it take you, to really feel like you were back um, as yourself again? Um, well, it was a three months recovery. I was in the sling for two months. And then at the end of December, cause this happened at the end of October, at the end of December, I was able to finally take off the sling and go back to like light contact, like juggling, ball skills by myself, passing, no contact or anything, kind of going for jogs, things like that. And then at the end of January, another month of that, I was finally able to go back to like practices and things like that. And I would say it took like probably like five, four to five games to finally get back to feeling like my actual self was like a player. But yeah. Yeah, it takes, takes a bit of time. Um, but you're doing well now, post, post. Yeah, not even like a worry that crossed my mind kind of thing. That's great. So what was, what was your motivating factor um, through your recovery? I mean, obviously, you're away from the sport. You miss it. You want to get back, be with your teammates. Um, but what would you say kind of motivated you, and, and what did you learn from uh, the process? Um, definitely being going to, like, different ODP and, like, my club team events and not being able to participate and seeing my friends and teammates improve kind of made me a little bit, like, worried and kind of get scared in a way. It's when I came back to not being like un, like good enough and stuff. So it definitely made that like one month period like a very hard working time for me. And I definitely would say that I learned to be, to not really take advantage of it and kind of always put in 100% one playing because you never know when something's like gonna go wrong. And yeah. Yeah, I like that. So any advice? Uh, obviously you went through a, you know, a long, long injury or long recovery process. Do you have any advice for other people that may, may be going through uh, something similar, if not 
any other injury? Um, just definitely don't get down because you're definitely going to get better at some point. And when you do get better, just put in the work and just try to get back to where you were. Love it. Well, Lindsay, thank you for joining me today. And again, congratulations on your recovery. Keep working hard and best of luck to you in the future with soccer and beyond. Thank you. You're welcome.